Uh, my name is Dwayne Olson, and I'm running for County Commission District 1. And a question that has been presented to me is one on local government aid. Uh, that's a, probably a broad question when it comes to government aid. Uh, I guess my thoughts of, of working in the private and public sector is there's a lot of funds out there, and when you look at the private sector and the public sector, uh, the dollars are there, and, and I guess my feeling at this point until I really find out what the uh, county commission is doing, and I know their budget is a $100 million budget. 40% uh, of that comes from the taxpayer, the rest of it comes from grants and aids and funds from the state and, and the federal government. Uh, I don't think our county could exist without government aid. But uh, it, it's a two-edged sword because if we don't take the money that's there, other counties are going to grab it. And, and pretty soon you look at it and say, well, uh, how come Wright County didn't get it and how come Stearns County received it? On the other hand, if we look at the broad picture, if we're a conservative uh, organization such as the Tea Party, we need to start someplace and cut back. And if we cut back, maybe it sets a standard for other counties and the state and the federal government says enough is enough on the aid. There's other things out there besides aid and that's some volunteering programs that instead of paying people, I think there's enough people out there that could volunteer on some of the projects out there. So local government aid, I, my feeling at this point is probably it's a two-edged sword. It's there and I think we have to be careful how we use it when we get it. We can't uh, rely upon it 100% or 60% of the budget. And our second question for Duane is, a Wright County resident comes to the commissioner board and complains that the activities of a nearby business is creating noise and traffic issues late into the evening on weekends. The resident has talked to the business owners but to no avail. The business is otherwise in compliance with all city, county, and state regulations. What action should Wright county government take to alleviate the situation? There's several entities I believe involved when you try to answer a question like this and one is certainly the business owner wants to make sure that their business and the area around is safe. Uh, when you look at the residents in the area they certainly want to have a quiet peaceful community. Uh, it takes a joint effort I believe with the people in the community, the business owners to sit down and uh, work out uh, some type of a joint uh, solution. And it may not happen overnight. It certainly, I think, over a period of time, uh, the, the business people and, and certainly the county commissioners certainly can be involved with the police department or sheriff's department to monitor the area. And I think when, when you have uh, all people involved uh, working together, and, and I think the county commissioners certainly have an active role in uh, so far as the publicity and signs and so on to, to help out. Uh, it's more of a public issue, but I think commissioners and the broad power that they have certainly should be involved. Question three. A large mixed-use development project is proposed for a track of land just outside of Elbertville. The development would include a large office park for which several businesses have promised to relocate over 500 jobs to. Additionally, the new commercial and residential development would increase Wright County property tax base by upwards of $1 million per year. The only obstacle in bringing this project to fruition is that one of the landowners of the proposed site does not want to sell his land to the developer. What are your thoughts on what the role of the county should be in resolving this situation? When you look at the potential uh, income to the county and if all parties are in agreement and you have one landowner objecting, uh, I, I think you have to look at the dynamics of the one owner. Uh, what is that one owner looking for? Are they looking for a higher sales price? Are they looking because they don't like the development thinking there's going to be more traffic? Uh, I, I, my thought would be until you sit down and know more about the, the situation here, uh, if it comes push to shove, I certainly say the county can look at this and say uh, everybody else has agreed. Uh, if one hold, one land only holds out, uh, I think there's certainly the power that the county has that they certainly could come in and uh, you know, make a fair price and, and let the 
uh, law take over. And certainly we can with the uh, regulations that we have, we could certainly buy the land, give them the money, and, and certainly if he wants to take it to court, we certainly can. But uh, it sounds like it's a good opportunity for the county and development in the tax base, and we certainly need to do that with growth and development, and certainly with the jobs at the economy where it's at.